New versions of the well-known protein items are coming to RuneScape in a matter of days, and it's definitely something worth talking about. Whenever you're ready, grab your cup of tea, sit back, relax, and enjoy. I usually don't cover the Treasure Hunter calendar part of every weekly news post, which is basically like a short term, this is what's coming up in terms of promotions thing, but today there's something really interesting part of that Treasure Hunter calendar. Starting on the 18th and ending on April the 22nd, there's a promotion called Cerberus Rush. Now this promotion will have a base three times reward multiplier active for the entire promotion, so you'll always be getting three times the amount of rewards, no matter what you get. Now you're probably wondering, okay, there's a three times multiplier, I couldn't care less, I mean we've had Rainbow's End, which has a one to seven times multiplier, even though that's like different depending on how many keys you use, but um, what's the real reason you're talking about this Pro Talks? Well, this Cerberus type promotion is going to be introducing a new variety of protein items called Unstable Proteins. These are overcharged proteins that will give players 10% more XP than original proteins. However, there's a catch. These unstable proteins are not usable during double XP events and do not benefit from knowledge bombs or other forms of XP pods that you may have saved up that give you 50% or 100% extra experience as those items function exactly the same and have the same rules as a double XP event. Now for anyone watching that's unfamiliar with protein items, proteins are essentially on the spot skilling items that allow you to gain reasonable, sometimes more than reasonable XP rates without costing you any resources in the form of skilling supplies or GP. These items generally give you access to a really AFK laid-back skilling method for skills that may not always have that method and are a large part of maxing a regular account as you can obtain a lot of them without ever spending money. However, there is no way of obtaining a lot of these in a short time frame for free, so players that are not spending money on keys well, you're going to need to save these and slowly build up a stack of them to use them as efficiently as possible, which is usually done on a double XP event, as you'll be getting double the amount of XP per item, maximizing your gains. Now, I think it's fairly strange to introduce a similar item to the original, except give it more XP, but then not allow it to be used to its full potential when players usually want to be using these items, which is a double XP event. I do know that certain J mods, and I won't be giving any names, are against the idea of proteins and don't like how they're so easily accessible and kind of simplify the gameplay loop because you're just AFKing these items during a double XP event. For some of them, you're sitting in one spot constantly and you're just farming XP, not paying attention to the screen. But at the same time, you are playing, which is probably a metric they're measuring back at Jagex, you know, average play time and if players are actually playing every day and all that kind of stuff. I have a feeling these proteins may be a way of getting players to play for longer and to boost that play time outside of double XP events. At the same time, they could also be an item that's slowly going to replace protein items as to make, you know, those original protein items more valuable because those can be used in double XP and these unstable proteins are going to be like the, the common protein, the lower tier protein because, you know, 100% more XP is so much more valuable than 10% more XP. So perhaps these unstable proteins are going to replace the daily login rewards, they're going to be the ones you get through the oddment store, or from events, or from room pass things. And then suddenly, the original proteins, as soon as players start to lose their stock, are going to seem like the more valuable protein, the one you're going to want to buy keys for, or to want to buy a package, some kind of special deal for, because you get proteins that you can use on double XP. It seems to me that they're going to be introducing a problem, and then later down the line, as soon as you no longer have the solution, sell you the solution. I'm not saying this was their intention, but a fairly recent example of Jagex trying to dry up your protein stock was the Vorkav Shard event, where you could trade in 5,000 proteins for a single shard. And before that, you could trade in 10,000 during the Golden Cape Hunt event. I wonder where this is heading personally. Let me know what you think about these items down in the comments below. Now, there's going to be a lot of these in the game as you're getting three times the base amount in the promotion and you have a 35% chance overall of getting any protein-related item in the coming promotion. I'm able to show you these rates thanks to a player by the name of I'm Rubik ripping these things from the game's cache. 
This week's RuneScape news is going to be an empty one as there's virtually no noteworthy patches with the exception of the Zuck pizza phase now working as intended and no longer being invisible. So if you're looking to get your hands on those powerful capes, which every PVMer should have, my guide is ready to assist you linked below. There's going to be a live stream related to the Requiem for a Dragon quest which is coming up later this month tomorrow. Now due to some IRL things I won't be able to cover that on the day itself but you can expect a video highlighting the information shared in that live stream from me this week. With that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and found it interesting. If you did, leave a like down below and maybe even consider subscribing. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.